Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 18 of the Leak Code Daily Challenge of, for March. Uh, or oh, 17? Okay, I'm wrong. So, day 17 of the March Leak Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know how you think uh, or how you feel. What about this prime and all this other stuff? Uh, so today I'm actually wearing my... my ugh, I survived the Fed hike, weight hike of 2015 t-shirt. Uh, it's just... Uh, if if you're into finance, you're into the the stock market and stuff like that. You, uh, hopefully you you made it out okay. Today is a green day and all that stuff. I don't know what I'm saying over there. But anyway, today's problem is uh, score of parentheses. That's kind of weird, isn't it? I mean, what what's up with all these like parentheses problems? Anyway, uh, like I I don't know. Is it gonna be another stack problem? Is that that I don't know. Then it kind of takes away some some kind of uh, like if you keep on getting the same type of problems then and you have the same type of solution, I think it takes it a little bit away because then you're not not um you don't have that um like if you group problems by the solution, then you don't exercise the part of your 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 muscle that is like, okay, what kind of problem is this right so I think that's the only concern I have for for uh, uh for these kind of groupings. But um, but that said, let's get started. Okay, so let's see. The score of a parenthesis is based on the following rule. Um, okay, so you have parenthesis one, a b is a plus b. Okay, and then inside is times two. Okay, um, I think it is just. I mean, this is just a stack, and being careful. Um, yeah, right. I think so. Yeah. Um I, I think that's pretty much it. So let's let's kinda get started on that one then, right? Um hmm. how do I, I I think I just have to be careful. I mean I don't think there's anything tricky about this one. This is again a stack problem and when you see these kind of balanced parentheses type thing. It's almost going to be always a stack problem unless there's some like funky uh, hard problem. Uh, though n is equal to 50, maybe there is... Um, no, I mean, this is still going to be a stack problem. I was going to say maybe there's some like funky dynamic programming you think. And I'm, I'm sure you can do something with dynamic programming and something funky. But for this one, I think you could, so a stack should suffice as long as you're really um, careful about it. Um, Yeah, I mean, I think that that's it. I don't. I mean, usually I I have a very no, no like I try to have a very precise idea before coding, and and in this case, I think it's just all about implementation. I think ideas, um, like I have the idea, but I have to kind of work out maybe some possible edge cases. So I have to the idea I have correct or you know I think it's correct. But it's about implementation is the rest of this problem. So let's let's uh, let's see how that goes. Um, so okay. So let's say if this is it goes to open parens, right? What does that mean? Um, yeah, I mean I. Mm, Yeah, I mean, I think that's, we just push on the stack, maybe. I mean, maybe there's some easy, quick, shortcut way of doing this. But for now, I'm going to always just push things on the stack and then see how it goes. Right? Like, like maybe you could represent this in a more efficient way. But but like I always say, um, you know, a efficient wrong answer is still a wrong answer, right? So get it right first, and then we can optimize later. Don't prematurely optimize. Okay, so then now the pop one is the more interesting one, right? So then we obviously have to pop. Uh, we can assume that there is a parent. So then what happens? So if if st um because I don't think we have to validate it, right? So it's only parent, so uh, balance. So if stack greater than one uh, is equal to so if this is equal to the open parents then we should replace it with one. Maybe. So I'm not 
not gonna lie uh, and this is a pen that's why it looks awkward um no oh, whoops that's not what i meant to do i mean it's fine but okay <clears throat> so else meaning that top of the stack is a number um that means that basically and, and i think the hard, hard part for me is just kind of in my head try to think for all the cases and making sure that i don't have weird edge cases um but i think top of the stack is a number that means that we have this kind of problem but mm, but i think i'm missing a case i'm missing the case where i have let's say i have this right but with a uh, I think it's just about being careful and getting all the cases. But let's say I have something like this, right? Then in that case, we will have, you know, th this pops to one, this also pops to one. Um, and then now going over here, what we want to do, hmm, I guess, okay. So I guess what we want to do is keep on adding all the numbers that are inside until we see the left parent. So then I could rewrite this a little bit. Um, so then while stack my one is not equal to parents, um, and because it is balanced, we can we don't have to check that the length is greater than zero because um, it's guaranteed to be balanced, right? So yeah, at the very end we pop and then we get the uh, we get the answer. Um, but let's just say current is equal to zero. Um, while this is not true, then current we add um, the top of the stack and then stack dot pop. Um, and then here, I don't know if I need this. Oh no, I do because then now it's equal to, to left parent. We pop, we append. Mm, this is a little bit tricky. So if current is equal to zero, that means that we 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 match it directly. So then then we can do do one. Else we do stack dot append two times current because that's what they tell you two times a. Um, but I would also say that I'm not gonna lie. This gives me not that much confidence. Um, this gives me maybe like sixty percent confidence. But in any case. We do need to pop off the rest of the things. So, um, yeah. So while um, while stack uh, or length of stack is greater than two, that means you have all these kind of things, right? Or greater than one. Sorry. If you have at least two, you have like these things where basically you just have like com uh, uh, components, and then. While this is true, you have a is equal to stack dot pop, and you just add them uh, consecutively, I suppose. And that should be good, unless I mess up something really bad. But yeah, because then now we have one number left. Uh, oops. Let's run it real quick. I my confidence is probably like I don't know eighty percent maybe. I'm I'm. Not super confident that I got every case, but let's you know at least make sure that we. Uh, but this is also why we test, right? All right, let's. Uh, if this looks good, then have confidence. I I think I skew a little bit on adding stuff to the end, so I want to actually also add something in the beginning. I guess both is fine. Um, because basically what I'm doing here is, um, I'm not going to lie, case analysis, even though it doesn't look that way, but I, 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 I think in my head and maybe in the code a little bit, I do combine a lot of cases in my head. So which is why it kind of came out like this. Um, but it may be a little bit cheesy that way. So we'll see. First submit. Okay, cool. Yes. First try. I, I actually, like I said, I'm, I'm not, I wasn't that confident about the solution. Um, but I guess this works, then this is great. Um, so each number is going to be pushed on it one, push on the stack once, um, and, and, at the, and at the way, yeah, and it'll, it'll be only be popped once. So this is going to be linear time because each character, each pair of, uh, parentheses will only get one push and one pop, right? Um, roughly speaking, because technically merging, but, 
Um, so it's going to be amortized. Uh, amort each up each parsing will be uh, O of one. So this is going to be O of n total. Um, you know, it's all of one amortized each. I suppose is how you would say it. Um, and this as well because if you have oops, if you have n elements, then obviously this is going to just pop n times. So that's fine. Um, and it, obviously it will be linear space because that is that's what happens when you use a stack. Um, yeah. Um, I think that's all I have for this one. Whew, this is a little bit tricky for sure, um, especially for medium one, because um, you have to think for all the edge cases. So it's not, con <coughs> excuse me. I don't think this is conceptually hard, but you have to be really careful is what happens with this one. Though I'm actually surprised and happy that my last two attempts I got on the first try. Let's see what I did that those times. Uh, okay, so actually I did, I, I said that, but I, I guess I did pretty much this. Oh, and I some the stack actually that's that's actually better than my current solution but but technically i guess it's more uh straightforward how did i did the second time oh i did the same thing the second time so hmm. okay so maybe i did come up with it all the time but uh but yeah let me know what you think stay good stay healthy to good mental health hope the stock market treats you well but to good mental health um take care and i'll see you later Bye bye